Hi friends, welcome to our channel. If you love our videos, please subscribe and like the video. Today, we are reviewing the 2023 American biographical sports drama, Gran Turismo. Before getting into the movie, that was filmed based on true events, let's talk about the term Gran Turismo. Shortly referred as GT, it is a racing simulation game series developed for PlayStation and released in the year 1997. The game to this day is being played by thousands around the world with version 8 anticipated in the coming years. The GT Academy, built based on the GT games, is a great driver discovery and development program. This is real. It ran from the year 2008 to 2016. Even though Jan Mardenborough was not the first winner, he was likely its highest profile graduate. Over the years, winners were selected from many countries including Germany, France, Belgium, Portugal, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Philippines, Russia, Australia, UK and USA. The last winner in the year 2016 was Johnny from Mexico. Now let's get into the movie. This movie, Gran Turismo, is a fictionalized and dramatic representation of the 2011 winner, Jan Mardenborough. You've raced it, what, like a thousand times? Now you just gotta do it in real life. Gran Turismo, based on a true story. But I won't stop now. The movie is about how a working class gamer failed former race car driver, Jack Salter, and an idealistic motorsport executive, Danny Moore, came together to make history in car racing. You me now. I know this track. Because I can't stop now. I've raced it a thousand times. That's what I'm talking about. The movie begins with Danny discussing about his project with the board of directors at Nissan to recruit race car drivers using the GT simulation car game in partnership with Sony and Polyphony Digital. To his surprise, the project gets approved. It's a contest. The best Gran Turismo players in the world get a chance to compete in professional racing. Dude, this is real. Danny Moore then attempts to recruit a trainer for his project. With many professionals rejecting his offer and Jack, the last person on his list, Hesitating. I really think you're going to take a kid who plays video games in their bedroom, you're going to strap him to a 200 mile an hour rocket. It'll tear him to pieces. Danny makes him realize the opportunity for Jack to contribute to this project. It's not going to work. The guys who race are elite athletes. Your kids are scrawny little gamer kids. That's where you come in. Hmm. Meanwhile, we see an ambitious youngster, Jan Martinborough, living his life with a craze on car racing. Who do you think the best driver is? Probably Rory. I would dust him in a lap. He often gets into argument with his dad, who is more realistic. Look around. It's not our world, son. And does not believe Jan can afford to become a car race driver, as it will cost him millions of dollars. Jan, all you do is play video games with some crazy dreams of racing cars. Dad, you're the one that told us to always do something we love. You know what racing cars cost? To his surprise and shock, Jan gets a lifetime opportunity to participate in the GT Academy race along with thousands of gamers around the world. The night before the race, Jan damages his dad's car, escaping from police. I'm not missing my race. And gets punished by his dad. He takes him to the rail yard where he works to show him that he will end up there if he doesn't wake up from his unrealistic dreams. Listen, son. You think you're gonna play a stupid video game about cars and you're gonna become a race car driver? All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. I'm doing it. With only seconds to spare, Jan joins the race and to everyone's surprise, he comes first in his batch. Nine other gamers also get selected from their respective batches. 
The 10 of you are the best Gran Turismo players in the world. Now is your chance to race real cars. Jack and day one tells all of them that they are all in a competition and only one will get picked up. Is there to make the impossible possible? You think you can do the impossible? I'm here to prove that you can't. You get tired, you get sloppy, you get sloppy, you get hurt, and you lose. Right? He warns them of the dangers and makes them realize that it is no more a computer simulation where you press the reset button. If you miss a line in the game, you reset. You miss it on the track, you could die. Jack makes them aware of the conditions of real racing and it is not the same as sitting in an air conditioned room. Experience for you moving your legs. <laughs> you puked on my lawn. There's no turning back now. When you're in a race, the cockpit is going to be 140 degrees Fahrenheit. During the training, the candidates face their reality and drops off one after another. The G forces will be twice what an astronaut experiences upon liftoff. I can't see anything! Hey, you get extra points for that in the game? Jesus Christ. At the end of all tests, though Danny preferred a different candidate, Jack picks Jan as the winner for the 2011 GT Academy. This whole thing is insane, but out of the couch surfing nerds that you sent me, he is the best one. You made it. Yes! Welcome to Team Nissan. Both Jack and Jan get emotionally attached. There are a few touching moments between the trainer and the trainee. There is a small portion of this movie that is dedicated towards the love life of Jan. But at the pace of this movie, we feel like these scenes disappear in seconds. With Jan starting to participate in real racing in major leagues, he is made aware that he must at least get the fourth position in the next few races to get the FIA license. Jack also tells him that everyone will hate him and he must prove his worth to everyone. This year, his presence is shaking the foundation of the sport. Since the major leagues, the other drivers, your pit crew are going to hate you. Much easier with a joystick, isn't it? <laughs> all scenes on Jan Racing are all thrilling and absolutely stunning. To make the movie more interesting, the team made a competing racer play the bad part opposite Jan. What's next? It's major leagues. The other drivers are going to hate you. Come on. Whoopsie. Dude, what is your problem? It's part of the game. It's called racing. In one particular race, Chan meets with an accident and a few spectators get killed. I can't see anything. I'm not sure if I can do this. Most people can't. I got a feeling you're not most people. Jack helps him realize the truth and to gain confidence to come back to racing. Even when Jan loses moments in the race due to his bad experience, Jack pushes him to get back into the race. Into this race! Get in the fight! Yes, sir. How Jan walks with Jack to win his FIA license and to become history is the rest of the movie. Not afraid. I've raced this track a thousand times in the game. Let me drive it my way. That was actually pretty great. Excellent graphics and a film that motivates everyone to go after their dreams. So I'm not gonna quit. You've got to prove to everyone that you belong. This is a great movie for gamers and for everyone who loves racing. Do remember to enjoy the movie in theaters. To continue enjoying our videos, please subscribe to our channel. We will see you in our next video. Until then, bye-bye.